Mania, what's good, man? Happy Friday to everyone out there, man. Hopefully everybody's feeling good and getting it right, getting home, chilling, having a good night, dinner, and whatever you're doing with your family, man. Enjoy. But I got a question. Can I get him? Can I get him, man? Can I poke at this guy real quick, man? You know, because he predicted something that uh, he's already wrong about. You know what I'm talking about. Um, Mr. Predictor himself, the one that said we'd probably go 0-9, maybe 1-9, 1-10. Already wrong, bro. Even if we lost the rest of our games, you already none, you've already lost. Your predictions suck. Just like your career, bro. What can I say? Hey, hey. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going to poke at him a little bit. Mr. Predictor himself, Brady Quinn. What are you doing, man? And this is going to be a very short video, just like his career, man. I mean, this man's career was like over in a breeze of the wind, bro. As soon as he got, as soon as he got hired on the NFL, as soon as he got drafted, he was out of the league within a couple minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to go over some stats, man. Mr. Brady Quinn, the one that wanted to go to Miami, he had that nice little tight, fine blondie over there at the table, and he was mad when Cleveland got him. He was like, I can't believe this. I'm supposed to be in Miami. Yeah, Mr. Brady Quinn himself. I'm glad Miami didn't get your ass because they been kicked your ass up out of there as soon as you flew up in there, man. Yo, but hey, 2007 is where it began. He wasn't really a starter at that time, but he was three for eight for 37% completion percentage. 45 yards. Oh, I'm not going to go hard on you there. You just had a couple minutes in the game, you know, just like your career again. I mean, I'm sorry. I just got to keep saying that. But then in 2008, he got about three games in, you know, uh, 45 of 89 for the total, 50%. He's like either in or out, you know what I'm saying? Either you go catch it, it's over your head. And his career was over my head. Hey, man, my, me and my pops used to clown this, bro, man. Hey, and he want to talk about the Jets. I don't see them doing anything. Who made this dude an analyst, let alone a quarterback? Yo, you done bamboozled every goddamn body. I don't see nobody with a Brady Quinn jersey at all. <laughs> Your jersey's been burnt, put in the fireplace a long time ago, buddy. Anyway. Sorry, I didn't mean to get <laughs> I'm just poking just a little bit. Just a little bit, man. Yeah, man, so, you know, he had three games in 2008. He's feeling saucy. You know what I mean? Um, how many interceptions, man, throw? Two. Two TDs, two interceptions. But, hey, let's get to the real Let's get to the real season he had in Cleveland. 2009, his last year in Cleveland, too. His last year. You know what I'm saying? Well, basically, he had 10 games. He still didn't complete a whole season. Um, my man went 2-7 and seven that year as a quarterback. Uh, completed 53.1% of his passes, had eight TDs and seven INTs, <laughs> QBR worthy of nothing. Um, sorry, no, QBR was 67.2, and he's talking about our man Zach and them ain't going to make another game for the rest of the next nine games. Oh, Brady, pump the brakes, man. Think about what you should be putting out analyst work on your own record, let alone us as Jets fans and the Jets team and the organization. You don't know nothing about what you're talking about, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he came in. Do y'all remember he came in, man? I want to say mid-July, late, uh, late July, early August. He put his analyst work on the line when he said, oh, the Jets ain't winning nothing. The Jets are going 0-9, maybe 1-9, maybe 1-10, if they're lucky. Do you see their schedule? It's brutal. Bro, you, you just hating on Zach. That's what you said. I don't believe in Zach at all. Neither does your boy, uh, Mr. Uh, Colin. Colin Cowherd, Cowherd, you know what I mean? Y'all could keep y'all's uh, comments to yourselves. If it ain't positive, keep it to yourself, man. Didn't you learn that in preschool? God damn it. I'm going to keep this one out there, though. Yo, so your, your, your shit went to Kansas City, okay, in 2012. You didn't play another lick for a few years. You was a backup quarterback. I remember you even came to the Denver Broncos. You didn't see a lick of nothing. 
Maybe when somebody got injured and you still was incomplete all day. Incomplete the wrong way on the wrong team, asshole. Anyway, man, but he went to Kansas City. Played for 10 games, went 1-7. <laughs> he went, he played for, nine, yeah, 10 games, 1-7. Horrible. 56.9 completion percentage. Two touchdowns to, yep, no exaggeration. Count them. Eight of them, baby, to the wrong jersey. You want to talk about Zach and the Jets? Bro, I'm looking at your stats, and this is when the, the video should be over because that was the end of your career in 2012. It was a wrap. You were still young. You still thought you was hot shit. Became an analyst very early in your age while people are playing till they're 45, hence Tom Brady. What did you ever do for this community of the NFL? Nothing but for us to make memes and talk a bunch of shit about you. And then you made yourself look funny as being an analyst because you're already wrong, baby. We two and two. Knock it off, man. Throw the football to you to the right team for once, all right? Get a real job. Don't ruin another man's job because you can't do it well. Anyway, man, hey, I'm just having fun. All in fun, man. Even if Brady Quinn just happens to run across my video, hopefully it's a good laugh. But anyway, man, no... No harm done. Just poking a little bit. But you got to you gotta admit when you're wrong. Two and two, baby. And the Jets might see three and two by Sunday. In fact, I expect it. So on that note, man, fellas, ladies, hope y'all, hopefully y'all have a good night, good Saturday, and let's get to it on Sunday. And on that note, it's your boy. And like always, J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 get it, baby. One love and I'll be in touch. Out.